I'm back with an Encore version of my rooted Nick color that's running CM7, the version of Android 2.3 Gingerbread, brought to you by the Cyanogen team. Now, they have yet to re release a stable version of that for this, however, they are very close to that and almost everything works. And just to let you see the kind of progress we're making, since my last video of doing this, two nights ago, they've released a new version and there have been some changes, some cosmetic, but one very important. Now, here's just an example of the cosmetic change, which I do think is important. Maybe in the last video you saw there was the uh, empty cell signal bars up here as if this was a phone, and of course it showed no service. That kind of ruins your experience that this is a tablet, um, just in a small way, of course, but it's nice to get rid of things like that. Just like on the lock screen, you used to say no service. Now, that's obviously gone. Something else that is kind of nice, when you turned it off, or try to turn off the device, hitting power off here, now it says your tablet will shut down rather than phone. And lastly, you may have seen this in the first video, it says about tablet rather than about phone. So those just kind of add to the experience that you actually are using a legitimate tablet. Now, the important thing that they have done in the new update was Bluetooth. Now, Barnes & Noble never actually advertised that this came with it, and it really doesn't. However, the processor that is in here, I believe it's called the ARM processor, ARM, they have Bluetooth capabilities built in. So the developers were actually able to unlock it. It's still very raw, but it does work. Let me hit the Bluetooth key right here, and you'll see it turn on in the notification bar. There it goes. Let's go ahead and try to pair a device. I'm going to make this discoverable. You see my phone and a headset right here. I've actually been able to connect. There you go. It's connected. You see my LG headset is on. Now here's the thing. Uh, mic input devices don't really work with this yet. Or at least Bluetooth devices. Because there is no mic on the um, Nook itself. So it would be really nice to have a Bluetooth mic enabled device to help um, resolve that issue. But they haven't really this is so brand new, there's really nothing you can do with this yet. However, there are, for example, my phone can pair, you can transfer files, and also um, there's Bluetooth keyboards, there's the Wii remotes for, for example, a Nintendo emulator. Um, there are a lot of other devices that can work. So there you go, Bluetooth is now working. Um, that's a huge step. They have a lot of progress they have to do on that, but it is a huge step considering it's not even supposed to have it in the first place, at least by Barnes & Noble standard. So if there's any new additions to the Nightlies, for example, if they get working video, things like that, um, although video does work, but within apps sometimes there are some problems, I'll definitely be back with an update.